In the last video, we created a new design, so let's quickly put something into it so we have some items to work with. We are going to jump right in, but before we get started, I want to show you one feature that I'm going to put on my videos, and that is the little keyboard that's going to be right down here in the lower corner. And the reason I'm putting this in so that you can see what buttons I am pushing on my mouse and when I'm scrolling up or down on my mouse, that's all going to be shown down over the top of the screen captures so that you can follow along and hopefully you won't get lost. In our last video, we started a new design and this is what our user interface uh, looks like. And so now we need to put something in it. And we are going to look at this top little section of the ribbon right up here where it says 3D, download 3D models, import PC board file. And we're not gonna worry about any of those. We're gonna look at these two little icons right here. One of them says cylinder. If you hover over it for just a moment, it says cylinder, click to set the endpoints and the axes uh, or the radius. And then the next one is a sphere. And we're gonna start with um, clicking on the cylinder. And we're gonna come down here in the middle and we're gonna click on our plane and we're going to drag it out a ways and then we're going to drag it up just a little bit and click again and now we have a cylinder in our design next thing we're going to do is grab the sphere so we'll click on the sphere same thing we're going to hover over the plane we're just going to click and we'll drag it across and click again and now we have a sphere in our plane so believe it or not that is all we're going to do in this video we just needed to get some object into our design so that we can move on to the next steps of being able to look around and look at some of the other buttons. This channel is all about sharing and fabrication. So you can check out the playlists on my channel where all of the videos are organized into groups of like content. And then of course, if you like the video, subscribe, like it, and don't forget to ring the bell so that you're up to date with all of the new videos as I post them.